I know a lot of you guys write short stories and submit them to magazines, and it can be a nightmare keeping everything organized. Subscriber Philip asks, I'd love to see a short video on how to format a short story manuscript for submission. I still submit short stories for traditional markets, and using Scrivener to compile into the William Shun slash standard manuscript method would be helpful. What's up, guys? My name is Michael Aran with Author Level Up, giving you the best tools and strategies for writing better and faster and growing your influence with readers. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to get helpful writing videos every week. And in this writing video, we're talking about short stories. Short stories are a great way to build an audience of readers, especially if you can get them published in reputable magazines in your genre. It's cheap and easy marketing, and many professional magazines will pay you for your work. I've had the fortune of being published in a couple magazines, which was the result of hundreds and hundreds of submissions. <laughs> but I made a lot of mistakes early on, and I want to save you from those so that you can easily increase your chances of publication. Let's jump over into my laptop, and I'll show you how to format your manuscript with ease and automate it so that you can generate a submittable file in just a couple of clicks. Before we begin, a couple of quick disclaimers. This video is for short story submissions only. I don't cover submissions to agents or publishers in this video, as I'm a self-published author. Check the video description for some videos that I recommend on agent and publisher manuscript formatting. Second disclaimer, regardless of what I say in this video, it's always important to read the magazine guidelines and follow them to the letter. Every magazine is different and their editors have different preferences. Failure to follow those guidelines will pretty much ensure automatic rejection of your story. Use this video as a starting point. The tools you'll need for this video are going to be Scrivener and Microsoft Word. We'll be using Scrivener 3's compile feature, though you can easily do this in Scrivener 2 as well. If you don't have Scrivener, you should because it is the best tool for writers, especially if you're writing short stories. So check the video description for an affiliate link to the software if you want to go grab it. Now I'm going to be showing you Microsoft Word in this tutorial as well, but if you don't have that, you can follow along in OpenOffice just as well. Same concept. Okay, so we're here on my laptop, and I just want to kick this off with a secret tip. And if you're looking for a website to go to where you can find magazine submissions that actually pay authors, there's a site that I like to use, and this was passed down to me by a friend, and this is Raylan.com. So this website does look like it's stuck in 1999, but it is legit. This is a database of pretty much all the paying magazines out there in the sci-fi and fantasy markets. If I click this Pro here, Pro tab, and I scroll down, this is always kept up to date, and these are magazines that pay at the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers Association rate, so that's at least six cents of word, six cents a word. So you can be reasonably assured that if you submit your magazine to these markets, and if they get accepted, you're going to be making at least six cents a word. Do the math. So this is a great database. I won't spend too much time on it. I'll put a link to it in the comments if you missed it. It's Raylan.com. So let's take a look at one of these. Let's look at Asimov's, for example, one you've probably heard of and a magazine that needs no introduction. So Raylan will link you off to their form. And let's click on their submission guidelines and see what these editors are looking for. So electronic manuscript format. For information on standard formatting, see the William Shun's Guide to Proper Manuscript Formatting. So that's a standard manuscript format. That's typically what you'll see on most of the major paying magazines out there these days. Some might have a little bit of a different, um, you know, some little things here and there that they want to see, but this is typically what you're going to see for the most part. So if we link out to this, just in case you haven't heard of it, this is a pretty famous manuscript format, and it's definitely a standard. So. The nice part about the Shun format is this, this little website will give you exactly what you need to know about formatting your book in this format. So, you know, this is the gist of it. You know, you have your name and your address and all of that on the top and, you know, about 10, 10 spaces down, you actually have the start of your story and a byline. And this is an interactive PDF. So it will go through everything that you need to do. And if you read it, it's, it's quite humorous and, and funny. So I will drop a link to this in the comments as well. But this is this is the, the cornerstone of what we're going to be using today. Now, while I recommend that you read this, I will say that uh, this video is going to give you a shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Scrivener now. So I'm here in Scrivener inside one of my science fiction short stories. And what I've done is I've put my address and the byline on the top, but for the most part, I haven't really done anything else to the story. So let's assume that I'm done and I'm ready to send it to Asimov's. I'm going to hit compile. 
Basically, the developers of Scribner have gone to the, the Shun website, read it through all of the formatting rules, and coded those into this preset format, which is really nice. And so you can find that on the left-hand side in Scrivener 3 by clicking the Manuscript Courier format. So this basically has everything you need with the click of a button. Now, what, what I want to do is I want to right-click this, and then you'll hit Duplicate and Edit Format. That will allow you to create your own version that you can tweak if you need to and it will appear right up here in under project formats and so if you double click this this will take you to the section layout area so if I go down here and then click on chapter for example these are all of the different formats that it's going to use so as you can tell it's in the courier format it's double spaced and you the big thing is you want to make sure that you override anything that's in your editor so you are going to click this button and that's pretty much everything that you'll need to do so we're going to hit save and then we're going to compile so you'll make sure that this is selected to Microsoft Word and we'll hit the compile button and we'll jump into Microsoft Word to see what this looks like. So we're here in Microsoft Word now and this is the file that Scrivener exported and as you can see it's not 100% perfect but it has done most of the heavy lifting and there are just a couple things that we can do to clean this up to get it into adherence of standard manuscript format. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the header and then under the header and footer tab, I'm just going to select different first page. And your version of Word may look a little different than mine, but just look for this under the header and footer tab. So we'll get rid of the header there. And then I don't remember how many spaces down it was, but usually it's about two thirds of the way down the page. So we'll take a look at that. And one more. That looks about right. And then as you can see, for some reason, it put some hashtags in there that weren't needed. So we'll just simply clean those up. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that Scrivener threw in the final hashtag series to signify that the story's done. So that's pretty cool. So I did want to jump up to the top and show you that Scrivener really is applying the standard manuscript formatting rules. So for example, when I have section breaks, it puts in this hashtag here as a section break. That is a standard manuscript method rule. Um, also, for italics, in the Scribner version of the manuscript, I had the this in, in italics. Scribner converted that to underline. That's another rule. Since you're using Courier and it's a monospace font, if you use italics, it's just going to look really weird and it's going to be really hard for your editor to read. You want to make sure that those are in italics. So. Across my entire story, Scrivener has converted any italics to underline, which is also helpful. It also converted my section breaks. I did have to go through and just make sure that the spacing on the section breaks was correct, but you know that's going to take you a couple seconds. So this is why I love this Scrivener compile preset because it just makes things easier. You don't have to worry about the heavy lifting. And if once you get your manuscript correct the first time, most of the places you're going to be sending to accept standard manuscript format, so you're not really going to have to edit it that much except for a couple magazines here and there. So that's why this is really cool. Now there are some small tweaks that you can make in Scrivener if you're a Scrivener expert that um, will help you eliminate some of these errors that I had to clean up here. But for the most part, if you're using this and you're not a compile guru in Scrivener 3 like me, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll export it to Word and clean it up easy. It's not an issue for me. If you want to read a great book about submitting short stories and the art of short story business, right? So submitting to magazines, and negotiating contracts, how to make money from your short stories, I would highly recommend the book Playing the Short Game by Douglas Smith. This is a fantastic book and just criminally underrated. <laughs> you know, I don't know I don't know I don't know very many people who have read this book, but it's it's just simply fantastic. And um, one of the standout books for me that really made some light bulbs go off over my head and really learn about the business of submitting my short stories and using those as a way to make some money. So I'll drop an affiliate link to the book in the video description. I don't know Doug, he doesn't know me, but I really like this book so much that I want to recommend it to you guys because I think it will be helpful for you. And as a reminder, you can find links to all the programs and the websites that I mentioned in this video in the video description. So check those out, and I hope this makes it easier for you. I hope you found that helpful. I put together links for all the tools I used in this video, so be sure to check the video description for links. And I'd love to hear from you. What tips do you have to format your short stories for submission? Let others in the community know. That's it for this video. If this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe. 
Every week I publish videos just like this one with writing advice to help you write better and grow your influence with readers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.